Have a blessed day brethren, welcome to the Temple Mount Church of All Nations in Kampala Uganda, built by the people and for the people, known as Kakanda Ministries headed by Prophet Samuel Kakandi. Come, visit Kakanda Ministries, let Prophet Kakanda prophesy your life, and it will never be the same again. Have faith in God, healing and deliverance at the Kakanda Ministries are free. Good morning, I'm Tilibali Moyo from Zimbabwe. The problem that brought me here is the problem of the spine, the back. I've got difficulty in walking because I've got three accidents. This is my medical report that I'm holding. This is a medical report from Premier Radiology Services, Parkview Hospital. It's a medical report that belongs to Sister Tilibani Moyo. Here the doctors examined her, they examined her thoracic spine, the lumbar spine and the pelvic x-ray they did. When they examined the lumbar sacral spine, they found that she has got lots of normal lumbar nodosis, probably due to muscle spasms. That's why she has the pain in the back. And they also found that she has got lumbarization of S1. And the pelvic x-ray showed that she has got mild osteitis. This was confirmed by Dr. Araval C. That's Sister Moyo from Zimbabwe. She has got difficulty in walking and squatting. Jesus Christ is more than ready to heal her right now in the power of the Holy Spirit. Be here! Uh, and the mighty name of uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Come on. Uh, Turn. Uh, yeah, they were out. Uh, 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 Live and go. Rise up. Hallelujah. Jesus has done it. Thank you. It is done. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. Why Thank are you, you crying? I've had so many pain, prophet. I've had three extents from 2000, 2018 at last year. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> Do you still feel the pain? No, I don't feel the pain. I'm humbled by the grace of God. When you get joy in Zimbabwe, you cry. <laughs> yes, there's the tears of joy, men of God. And uh, all this accident because of the house issue. What you say is true, men of God. The Lord Jesus Christ instantly healed Lady Moyo all the way from Zimbabwe and she was totally free from the pain that she had suffered for 23 years. The following morning, she came back to testify to God's glory. I am Tilibali Moyo from Zimbabwe. The problem that brought me here at Kakande Ministries was the problem of difficulty in walking, back pain, hip, knee, the pain was radiating from the back to the left hip, to the left leg, until to the toes. This problem of backache, difficulty in walking, I had it since 2000, that's 23 years. It was as a result of an accident that I had on the 17th of September 2000. And consequently, other accidents that followed in 2018 and in last year in 2022 on the 7th of March. After the accident, I could not do so many difficult things, especially that I have that will rest on my back. Like if I walk for long, my back will be painful. If I bend, it will be painful. If I squat, my back will be painful. And each and every time, I would feel pain radiating through my hip to my left toes. I want to thank God. I got to know about this ministry through YouTube. Last year in August, as I was watching, I normally follow preachings in YouTube. I just came across 
this ministry, Kakande Ministries, and people were testifying, and people were being healed. From that day, I set my mind to say, God, if you can allow me to come to this place, I'll also be healed. I came here on Saturday when the man of God, Prophet Kakande, prayed for me. I was completely healed. Even before he prayed for me, I felt a sensation. I felt a breeze coming through my legs, coming through my hips before he even prayed for me. So I knew that this is my day. And to God be the glory, because when the man of God touched me, I fell down and I could feel that something was being relieved. When I stood up, I could feel very, very light. I said, is this it? And indeed it is, because from that very day, I have no difficulty in walking. I can walk, I can walk, I can run. Glory be to Jesus. I can squat without any problem. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. And I want to confirm, because when the man of God prayed for me, he gave me a prophecy. Why are you crying? I've had so many pain, prophet. I've had three accidents from 2000, 2018, and last year. Thank you, Jesus. Do you still feel the pain? No, I don't feel the pain. I'm humbled by the grace of God. When you get joy in Zimbabwe, you cry. <laughs> There are tears of joy, men of God. And uh, all this accident because of the house issue. What you say is true, men of God. In 2007, we bought a house from this family, but that house had squabbles. The woman who knew this family, when we went to get it transferred into our names, that woman was resisting the transfer of the house. So I want to confirm the prophets to be true because after that squabble, we bought the house, we entered into the house, and we're still staying into the house. So I profess that that is the root cause of my problems. You can see even in 2018, I had another accident. And in 2022, I had another accident. And I thank God that it is all done. It is finished in Jesus' name. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together. The Lord is good all the time. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him again. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him again. Praise Him in the morning, praise Him again. My name is Susan Kaira from Zambia, Mazabuka. The problem that has brought me here is my spine. I've been suffering from the spine since last year in May. These are my documents that I've come with. My medical reports. Here on the screen, we are looking at this medical report from the Ministry of Health University Teaching Hospital that is in Lusaka. It belongs to Sister Susan Kaira. It's her MRI report, where they did an MRI of the whole lumbar spine. They examined her cervical spine, the lumbar spine, and these are the findings by the doctors. They found that she has got L4, L5 central right paracentral disc herniation with migrated or extruded disc fragment and hypertrophic arthropathy, resulting in moderate central canal and bilateral neuroforaminal stenosis, as was confirmed by Dr. Akomba, stroke Dr. Liu, the radiologists. That is Sister Susan, for this one year, she cannot rise up or walk without support of this lumbar corset. She has got so much pain in this back. Now, the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. Yes? And Jesus has authority. Though the pain may grip on you, may have power on you, but when Jesus comes, he orders it. 
pain go. And he gave his disciples powers, but he gave them authority to order in his name. 1019 of Luke. Behold, I give you authority mm -hmm. to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. He gave his disciples authority to order the sickness and its powers. Yes? The disease and its powers to walk out of your life. This is salvation for you in the name of Jesus Christ. I order sickness, disease, and all your powers. That's a mighty command made in the name of Jesus Christ for the healing of Sister Susan. Behold, the way the power in the name of Jesus Christ is driving her towards her healing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Her sickness Thank you. is powerless. On the floor she goes as Jesus Christ heals her. By the authority of Christ Jesus, your disease and all your pain go and come back no more. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Rise up and go your free. Sister Susan is raising up to her freedom. Jesus Christ has set her free. She's now walking. Hallelujah. She's moving the rubber corset. Glory be to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. She's bending. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm mute. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm mute. Clap, clap for Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. How are you feeling now? Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. I'm healed. healed you. Jesus Christ. God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Clap your hands for Jesus. This is the issue of the gospel. Yes? And uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 4 and 5. And my speech and my preaching were not with persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith should not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. So you can preach, you can teach, whatever you want, it will not work. Because the gospel is not just preaching and teaching. It is the power of God and to salvation. So whatever problem you have, once I stretch my hand, hey, it's over. Kaira from Zambia. The problem that brought me here was the spine. When I woke up in the morning, I just felt my leg and my spine started getting pain. Then I went to the hospital. I've been suffering from this pain. It's now one year, three months. I was not able to bend and to walk properly. I was feeling the pain all over my body for one year. I came to know the Kakande ministry through my auntie and the Facebook. Then she encouraged me to come here to Kakande ministry. Then on Saturday, I was prayed for by Prophet Kakande. So right now, I can walk, I can move, I can bend. I don't have any pain anymore. The corset was to support me to walk properly, but I can't wear this corset anymore. So I want to thank God for this healing. I can walk, I can walk properly, I can walk, I can even run, I can run, no problem in running, I can even bend, I can bend properly, no more pain, even my leg, I can even run properly. So I'm not wearing any more these concerts. 
I want to thank the ministry of Kakande for healing me in Jesus' name. I thank Jesus for healing me. I don't have any pay anymore, and I'm going to call more my friends to come here because I've seen God in this church. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Mary. I come from Kenya. I have a disease in my bones. These are my medical reports. Here on the screen, we are looking at this medical report from the County Government of Nyeri, Department of Health Services. It's a medical report for Lady Mary Mwihaki, Dominic. Here, because of this long standing history of lower back pain, they did an X-ray which showed that she has got spondylolisthesis of L5 over S1, and this is the cause of her pain, as was confirmed by Dr. A. Nganga. That's Sister Mary. You can see she wears a lumbar corset for support. For these seven years, she cannot bend. She cannot do anything by herself without support. That's a touch for her healing in Jesus' mighty name. Rise up and go, your friend. Go, you're free. Sister Mary has been declared free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Good morning. Praise Jesus. My names are Overseer Mary. I'm a Kenyan. And I've come here to give my testimony. At one time, I fell down from a, from a motorbike in the year 2015. I was treated and I went back home. 2016. In the year 2016, I took water to go to shower. I was not able. I had to send one of my child to take the water for me. So I saw it's not good for me to be at home. I went to the hospital. The doctor told me. I need to do three x-rays. I took the three x-rays. And the results, uh, the doctor gave me this corset. When I was given the corset, I was told it's not for sleeping. It is when I, I use it when I'm walking. And when I'm bending also I should also when I'm working I should have it on and when I stayed for some time my bishop in church my bishop told me to look for money to come to the Kakande ministry and I told me father I will go on arriving here, and I met with Prophet Samuel Kakande, and he touched me with his hand. When he touched me, 
I felt heat all over my body. Wakati nilisikia moto nikaanguka. After that I fell down. Nikaona mkono wake kama moto. And I saw the hand of the man of God as Ka- if it e- had fire. Ukiwaka kama moto. It was burning like fire. Nikaambiwa niamuke. Then I was later told to rise up. Kuamuka saa hiyo ugonjwa umeenda. Immediately I rose up. The pain was totally gone. Sikikuwa naweza kuinama. I was not able to bend. Ama kulala kwa kitanda hivi. I was not able to lie on the bed. Nilikuwa nalala upande mmoja tu. I was lying using one side. Na saa hii ninaweza kwenda mbio. But now I can move even. Nitaweza inama. I am able to bend. Nitaweza kushukua mkono niombe watu. I am even able to raise my hand to pray. Na saa hii niko somba. And now I am very sober. Na nimeshukuru kwa hii madhabahu na nikasema I'm very grateful for this altar. Hii altar iendelee na kupanukiwa mipaka ya mbinguni. And may this altar have borders which are expanded. Na nimeshukuru sana kwa sababu ya kufika hii madhabahu. And I'm very grateful for coming to this altar. Kwa hivyo ninaweza enda. I am able to walk. Ninaweza kwenda fasting bila kula kitu. I can even fast I can Hata ninaweza kukama saa 3 I can even stay for 3 hours I can even lie down flat kulala ingine I can lie facing Kwa maana nilikuwa nashindwa before I was not able Asante kwa Yesu Kristo I thank Jesus Christ Asante kwa uponaji I thank for God for thank healing Thank you Jesus Asante Yesu Nimepona I am healed Ninaweza kwenda bali I am able to go far. Praise Jesus so Thank much. Thank you. Sante. Grab your hands. Yes, I'm Lena Bonareri Ombilo Sakora. I'm coming from Kenya. The problem that has brought me here is the backache. Uh, that has been there for the last 10 years and excessive gas from my tummy for the last 5 years this is my medical report to confirm that on the screen is this medical report for sister lena sakura umbiro this is where she went and the doctors examined her because of this worsening pain in the back they did an mri which revealed many things about her condition when we take a look at this conclusion They found that she has got desiccated L4 L5 lumbar intervertebral disc. She has got radial tear of the annulus fibrous. She has also got this protrusion at L4 L5 compressing the left traversing nerve root. So there are many complications here to say she has got a degenerative disc disease. This was confirmed by Dr. A. Odiambo, the radiologist. That is clinical officer Lena who has come to the chief doctor Jesus Christ to heal her. By his own authority, she touched the magnum Jesus Christ. Be here, rhythm. Go, your friend. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Man of God for praying for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you feeling now? I am much better. Do you feel any pain? No pain at all. Clap for Thank Jesus. You, man of God. Glory be to Jesus. Lady Lena, all the way from Kenya, received her healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen as she gives her wonderful testimony the following day. I'm Lena Ombiro. I come from Kenya. Uh, what brought me here to the Kakande ministry is that backache and the bloating of my tummy. I had that back pain for the last five years. The cause of it came from when I was lifting the bell. When I was lifting it, I had a very sharp pain to my back. And then I fell down. Later, I went to the hospital to seek the medical attention. So, I did a MRI that showed there was a tear between the L2 L3 
and the disc protrusion to the transverse nerve that was giving me pain to my left leg. So I was advised to do physiotherapy and assume some positions to which, for example, if I was bending, I was to bend my knees like this and pick something from down and not bend like this when I want to lift something from down or washing. I put something on a higher level, then I use it, then I can wash, but not bending. I also had the bloating of my tummy that they called irritable bowel syndrome for the last 10 years. Imagine when you have bloating of the tummy, you have a lot of gas. So I also seek medical attention to which the diagnosis was irritable bowel syndrome. So I did a lot of investigation that you can imagine of all they were negative. Then I was advised that now you have to avoid some meals. I used to have constipation and sometimes diarrhea and also the bloating of the tummy. So I followed strictly the diet that I was on. So I learned about the Kakande Ministries from a friend in Canada. And he told me like, why don't you try? Go to the Kakande Ministry and you get healed. All your problems will be over. I said, for sure, I've gone to all the hospitals. I was not being relieved. So I came to Kakande Ministry through that friend of mine uh, to see whether I can be healed. I was doubting at the beginning, but when the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, touched me and prayed for me, for sure I felt so light, I got healed. I thank God so much for healing me and thank Prophet Samuel Kakande for praying for me. Now I can bend, I can jump. There's nothing that I cannot do. I can do everything. I can do everything, you can see. And then I can walk like this. I thank God. I thank man of God for praying for me and honor and glory back to Jesus. Thank you, thank you. Together let us give God glory. My name is Christopher Anna Sonda. I'm coming from Malawi. The problem that has brought me here is knee arthritis on both knees, left and right and lower back pain, poor eyesight. This is my medical report. Right here on the screen, we are looking at this medical report from the Ministry of Health and Population, Kamoza Central Hospital in Malawi. It's a medical report for Lady Christabel Msonda. Here they did an X-ray of the knees, and they found that she has got this chronic pain that is resulting from knee degenerative osteoarthritis. The radiologist, Dr. Kwafamba, confirmed this. You can see how Sister Christopher wears these two gadgets on her knees. She cannot walk without support of these knee braces. The healer of all diseases, Christ Jesus, has started his work in her. Behold that touch. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For 10 years she has been having this pain in the joints. Today, the Lord Jesus Christ is commanding all these pain to live. Rising up from sickness to good health. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Why are you crying now? Thank you, Jesus. I was not expecting this. I was not expecting this. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Why we send you for the medical reports say that the worldly people cannot believe. If Jesus' healing is for real, let us produce the medical report. Let us see what God can do. Yes? yes. Not just to say we love him. And what he has not done, he has not done it. And there is a reason. What he has done, he has done it. Let people see the possibility of God, the power of God. Now these people are from Kenya, from Zambia, from wherever, and the doctors they are mentioning, you know them. Some of you know them. Now you confirm, mm, it is real. My problem can be solved. Amen. Yes? yes? Thank you. Come, visit Kakonda Ministries, let Prophet Kakonda prophesy your life, and it will never be the same again. Have faith in God, healing and deliverance at the Kakonda Ministries are free.